This is Patrick of Geocron, and I'm the head wrangler here, and I want to take you through a walkthrough of the Geocron Atlas II 4K as I sit here at my desk. First of all, this is a nice, sturdy retail box, and it has descriptions of what's on the inside, including all the features here on the side, and a reminder that the Geocron Digital is made from the Geocron Mechanical World Clock that we still make in a small little mountain town outside Portland, Oregon, and have been since 1964. Let's take a look inside. First of all, the quick start guide. Clear instructions about how to hook this up to your TV using the HDMI port. And if you'd like to read, well, here's all the written instructions. A menu guide with descriptions and helpful tips, and a layout of the remote control so you can get around. The remote control is the only way that you can control the Geochron Digital, so don't lose it. Let's take a look deeper inside. Here's the Atlas II itself. This is a fanless computer, weighs a little less than a pound, and it is connecting through Wi-Fi or through the Ethernet port. This is an audio port that we don't use. This is the USB port through which the remote control dongle attaches, power, and on and off switch, which you don't have to use except for the first time. As long as it has power, you can use the remote control. Going deeper. The power supply, the HDMI cord, the remote control, two batteries, and a USB adapter that you don't need. Hopefully you can find use for it somewhere. While we've got the remote control, let's take a look what's inside, and there is the dongle that plugs into the Atlas II. While we're here, I'm going to put in the batteries. Hey look, red light, it's working. This little USB dongle plugs into the Atlas II at the only available USB port, like so. The power supply plugs in to the power supply. Don't use it, and don't use don't lose it, and don't use the wrong one. And lastly, the US the HDMI port plugs in to the top of the Atlas. And you may say, why is this so short? Well, the reason is this is a fanless computer. It's working really hard to render in 4K, and so it needs to remain air-gapped on all sides. If you glue this to the TV, um, it may overheat, so it's designed to hang from the TV like so. Now, if you lay it down on a surface that is not powered and doesn't get hot, you're okay. But ideally, it's just hanging. So, this is the physical setup of the Geochron Atlas II. That goes to the TV, that goes to power, the remote control connects to the USB dongle, which is plugged into the only available USB slot. Plugged into your 4K TV, it is a glittering and detailed display of what the Earth looks like in real time. 